Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Mill Grove, Ontario. Uh, we wanted to bring back and refresh one of our videos. We haven't done a video on one of these coaches in probably about three years. It's got our new interior colors that are designer interiors, along with a lot of our new colors on the outside with all our black accents as well. But this is our 10 foot Taylor Coach. So the floor, it's 10 foot, six tip to tip, where the floor on this particular trailer is uh, just over seven feet from here right to the front. But on this particular coach, it packs a lot of really great features for somebody looking for a small trailer that you can stand up, you can put your pants on, you don't have flip out things where you're cooking on the outside, trying to swat away the bugs. It's got a lot of great features on the inside along with the outside. Being that it is a smaller coach, they do not make side rollout awnings for something this small. Um, so if people want to put awnings on them, they basically uh, need to come up with their own tarps. We could add tracks to it. A lot of couples I do suggest to put up great dining tents in a campground where you can set up the dining tent, cook wherever you want. The beauty about this coach is I always refer, refer to it as my motel on wheels, is it gives you inside cooking, great comfort, it's dry, there's no pop-ups, no setups. Um, lots of great features we've added now. We've got the larger side windows on it along with the front. You've got outside access underneath the seats. You've got your city water hookup. It does come with a spare. It has your electric brakes on it as well. And our large UBAL jacks on it for leveling the coach as well. So it makes it very convenient for leveling. We also have added up here um, where we've had the outside porch lights on it. So if you have a dining tent set up and you're going for a walk at night and you wanted to know where your coach is sitting, you do have the outside lights along with you have your back porch light here as well too. Um, the beauty sometimes that a lot of couples that have sold this trailer over the last 25 years is they'll all come back to me and say, hey Brad, you know when we go camping with this particular coach, um, we meet so many people in the park because they all want to come in, they all want to talk to us because they want to know what we have inside of our Taylor coach that looks like it's kind of like been chopped off or it's short. Um, and once they get inside, they're so overwhelmed with features, then they usually start calling me and looking for, looking for their own trailer. Uh, this has what we call your uh, rear awning on it too. It's called a trucking awning, so it just slides out. You've got a couple pieces on either side so you can have the trucking awning on it um, so that if you want to leave your door op wide open all the time it has a little adjustments on the side but you can leave your door open right now it's touching it because I haven't adjusted my side arms here but they are adjustable to move it up um, being we're just shooting the video I just given you sort of a detail of what a trucking awning looks like when it's on the back again it just has the arm here you have your arm over here we're closing up so it keeps the water away right from the door and it's easy to close up. There isn't a lot of fuss or muss. You don't have to tuck anything away or that. Um, but at the same point, you've still got the nice big door on the back here with a full screen door. So if it is raining and you want to add that feature to the trailer, it keeps it nice and dry. We've got your large assist handle for getting in and out of the coach as well. And take you to the inside here. What I try to point out to lots of couples, which makes this trailer pretty neat, versus some of the little trailers out there where they have the pop-up rear ends and they're cooking outside. I've mentioned to many people over the years of my 45 years in this industry, I should say, building these things, is people outside cooking, you swatting the bugs trying to get away from them. What's kind of unique about this is that we've got your cooking range in the inside, so we've got your two burner flat with a glass top on it. You've got a range hood, so everything's vented to the outside. You've got hot, cold running water. You could have hot water added to it for ones that are looking for that feature. This has straight cold water. You have storage up above here. There is a spot where a microwave could be added here. It isn't done with a microwave, but we've made the provisions that if they ever want to add a microwave, it can be added. There's storage underneath here, and we also have incorporated a cutlery tray for all your cutlery that if you want to take it out to the tent outside or anything, you've got that option. Over on the uh, opposite side here, we've got a place with a bar with a couple of shells. 
And on here we've got a washroom on board. So we've got a portable john here, a place to hang your coats, a place for toiletries up, up above. The, the beauty about the toilet, there isn't enough room that it can have its own walk-in shut the door unless we combine the closet and bathroom together. But what's kind of neat about this, we, I should say we have done that where they had a walk-in uh, washroom, but it's just done with a portable toilet because of the, where the wheel is positioned. Um, this particular unit, they want the closet and they have the toilet. The thing that's nice, having the toilet in its own little room, if you get up in the middle of the night, you're not tripping something over in the hallway here, trying to get out of the unit or just deciding to come in and out and you don't want to have, you want to have, I should say, the toilet accessible for nighttime use. This where, where it makes it nice, it is accessible for you to use, but it's not a tripping hazard getting up in the night or anything coming out. Uh, on the bed area up here, we've got our little shelf up here for throwing watches and glasses and cell phones and that. And we have the same bunk area that's very common in a lot of our coaches. Uh, so it's a, a storage compartment. Uh, it's a storage compartment. Uh, this particular couple didn't ask for the bunk cushions. It has a liner that covers the doors here. It would just slide up there and cover the doors. The, the beauty about this is it gives them a lot more storage in the trailer as well. Um, and it's also a sleeping area for them. So we rate, this is a 40 inch by 75. This particular coach and width wise too is 75 exterior or 78 exterior, 75 interior. So the bed up here then starts to measure 54 inches by 75 inches. So the bed size is actually an inch longer than a double bed. You also have storage underneath your seats. Something that this particular uh, couple that we had built this trailer for, that we had, this is new for us as well, is we did a split cushion on it. So when this table goes to go down to a bed here, this is going to lift off. You can set the table aside here. Maybe take a minute and show you how it works. So we can throw down the ones here and they can remove the cushions at the back. These are going to come up and just fill in up here so it can make into a bed. These cushions are going to remove as well. So it's going to make into a bed up here so that they can have it. Well, I can pull this one out, put this one down. So they can make it basically into a single bed and have a little bit more seating room the walk area because they don't want it as a double bed. If you wanted it as a double bed, you'd use all the cushions to make it into a double bed. So it gives you a few more options of what you can do with, the, with this particular layout than just a double bed. Oh, this one's going back here. This just lifts back out. If this was going into a double bed, the main table would fit down into it here and then the cushions would come across the whole thing making it into a double bed. So it depends what your sleeping arrangements are. This is just going to come back up. The table hooks on the front ledge here. And now you got it into a nice big seating area and your extra piece can go just up and be stored in the closet or up in the bunk area. They also added uh, go power to it. They also have the reading lights at night. We have your little night light. It all has, also has a USB charge port on the bottom. If you like to do a little bit of reading or that. Um, it's got all our new what we call our designer colors. They've also added a uh, fantastic fan to it. And this particular trailer when it was done outfitted with equipment that's in it. This one weighed in at uh, 1,082 pounds. So it's just, a, just under the 1,100 with a lot of really great features inside without anything popping up or you have to do outside. This also, I should mention, it has your front window here that will open. So when you're sitting in here, you got lots of visibility. Everything today is LED on our coaches, so it's all LED lights inside and outside. So it's very conservative on power as well. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on it. I find it's a really, really cute trailer. We get a lot of comments on it all the time when the people see it out in the parks. Um, if you're interested or need some information on it, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Again, my name's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach. Look forward to hearing from you. Watch for more videos. Take care. Bye now.